The annual Tip O'Neill Diaspora Award is a firm favourite on the Inishon calendar. The recipient of this year's award, US philanthropist Loretta Brennan Glucksman, said she was honoured, humbled and grateful for the special recognition in the county of her forefathers. I'm over the moon on many levels. Um, I so much admire the work of Tip O'Neill and um, inferentially of John Hume. Uh, and we, when I worked with the American Ireland Fund, we did a lot of work in putting it together with Ulster University. And I'm just so proud of all that they have accomplished. So it's a true personal, very, very personal uh, pleasure and honor that I'm here with the whole O'Neill clan and it's, um, it's quite a celebration. I'm deeply humbled and, and very grateful. Ms Glucksman served as chair of the American Ireland Fund for 18 years and has been involved in philanthropic work focusing on education, the arts, healthcare and peace initiatives in both the US and in Ireland. Her grandfather David Brennan came from the fishing port of Greencastle and her grandmother Alice Moore was from County Leitrim. I had a brother and a sister and we were raised very, very conscious of our Irishness. When I was a baby, my grandfather taught me all my prayers and all my poems in Gaelic, which is a gift I've treasured my whole life. And she paid tribute to Tip O'Neill's political abilities. He was a giant among men, literally and figuratively. But the things that Speaker O'Neill put in motion, you know, Sean, wouldn't happen today. It would be... Our government is so um, polarized, that would never happen in an O'Neill Congress, ever. I don't care who was there, he would talk them out of it. He had an, a, almost a metaphysical ability to convince people because of his own innate goodness and his intelligence. He was so smart. At the gala awards evening at Boncrana's Inishon Gateway Hotel, many spoke of Ms Glucksman's time, effort and determination to promote so many projects on behalf of Irish people. Loretta Glucksman has been a very special friend to all of the O'Neills for a good number of years with her work especially with the American and now the Global Ireland Funds. She showed such great leadership and, and care about how those monies were dispersed here in Ireland into all things Irish around the world for peace, culture and prosperity. And uh, she's made a great contribution to peace in this country and she ought to be recognized for it and that's why we're here. I think she's an amazing woman and obviously she has contributed hugely in the States and hugely to Ireland and, and been so extremely generous, generous to very many projects. And uh, I'm so very happy that she's here in Donegal receiving the Tip O'Neill uh, Diaspora Award. Loretta Brennan Glucksman has done an enormous amount of good work quietly for a very, very long time. And to be able to recognize someone like that, I think, brings pride to the county but also pride to the diaspora. I think the fact that Buncrana has established the Tip O'Neill Diaspora Award is absolutely fantastic. And I think given that Tip O'Neill's family originated here in this part of Donegal, and to honour him and to honour those who do such great work on behalf of Ireland, I think is absolutely magical. We're absolutely de delighted. The committee, the commitment from the committee, Donegal County Council and everybody involved in it. We're very, very proud of this event. It has become now one of the most important events in the calendar of the Donegal County Council. And we're proud of it. We're proud of Boncrana and Ashone and Donegal. Absolutely delighted. In Donegal County Council, we're only too happy to support initiatives like this. And you know, this is what we're about, and, and even yourselves as well, by showcasing the county, about being positive for the county. And, and you know, I think that there's positive times ahead for this part of our island. Minister Jimmy Deanahan said Donegal should be proud of its links with its diaspora. Uh, there is that huge connection between Donegal and its diaspora and that's very obvious now with the work that the County Council uh, is doing at this moment of time and uh, you've really made tremendous progress in connecting in some of the most influential people in the world at this time uh, with Donegal and that's very important and it will yield benefits for the county in time. Professor Ronan Fanning delivered the annual Tip O'Neill lecture as part of the weekend celebrations. The lecture I was giving was specifically about Tip O'Neill and about his role in changing the course of American policy on Northern Ireland. He's often quoted as having said, politics is it's all local. He also believed that you know, if at first you don't succeed, 
you keep trying. Tip O'Neill's daughters were on hand to judge an essay and art competition by the children of Inishon schools. They were blown away by the calibre of the work. One of the children, just the ingenuity that they used, um, did a sculpture of uh, an American eagle. Uh, and it took three weeks. Can you see the? It took three weeks for him to put the feathers on the American eagle. I, I just think it's so wonderful, the effort that they went into. And um, also the encouragement from their parents, you know, to, um, to see so many parents here today, see their children receive awards and, you know, um, demonstrate their interest in their children's education. We're both very grateful for all the hard work and effort by the children, the families, and by the school itself and the leaders in the school. So thank you all. It is so greatly appreciated. For the O'Neill family, one of the highlights of the weekend celebrations was taking a trip to meet relatives in Rashini. Uh, what a way to wind up. You know, we have discovered uh, cousins here in, uh, in Clamani, uh, whom we didn't know, frankly, more than three years ago. And uh, it was actually my mother, my, my great-grandmother, who came from this very same land. On that parcel of property where that new house is, is constructed, she lived there until... 16, uh, 18, um, 1868 or 9, and she left to go to the United States, where she met her husband, who fathered my dad, and uh, pretty good beginnings, I'll tell you. If, it, uh, if, if people could just see how beautiful this, this property and this land is overlooking that water and that ocean, it's just extraordinary, the beauty of Ireland. As somebody who's participating in the diaspora globally, to come back to Donegal and discover family beginnings and understanding the lineage and heritage of, of our family is extraordinary. It, it makes life very important yet simple and, uh, and, and more clear and it's simply terrific. With new connections made and old friendships re-established, the Tip O'Neill Award means the achievements of the diaspora will never be forgotten. Kathy Donaghy for Donegal TV in Boncrana.